Welcome to Fuji X Weekly on YouTube. I love to photograph and I love to write. The Fuji X Weekly blog allows me to combine those two passions into one and express my creativity. So many other photographers have helped me along the way, so it's good for me to be able to give back and help other photographers too. I love Fujifilm cameras because they have full manual controls, the knobs on the top, the manual aperture rings. It reminds me of the fully manual film cameras that I learned photography on and I'm able to take the way I did photography in the film era and do the same thing in the digital era. My interest in photography began when I was a teenager and I would borrow my dad's Sears 35mm film camera, go on trips and take pictures and the pictures came back from the lab and they were all very terrible. I was not a very good photographer at all. I wanted to become better so a freshman year in college I enrolled in Photography 101 and began to learn how to actually take a picture, the, the basics of it, developing the picture in the lab and printing my own black and white prints and I just really fell in love with photography. It's more than 20 years later and I still love taking pictures. It's the it's one of my true passions in life. I grew up in analog photography using film and creating film simulation recipes based off of analog films allows me to express my creativity. Film looks amazing. I developed these different film simulation recipes to mimic different films that I used in the past or films that I wanted to use in the past and be able to get that look straight out of camera. When I choose a film simulation recipe, I look at the conditions, what the lighting is gonna be. Is it morning light, is it evening light, is it midday light, is it gonna be overcast? What's, you know, I look at the weather and do I wanna do color or black and white? And kind of pre-think of what film simulation recipe is actually going to match the scene the best. So the film simulation that I'm choosing for today is Fuji Color 100 Industrial, which is a low contrast film. It's not especially warm. The color's a little bit muted, but the lighting is going to be morning light. It's going to be harsh shadows, the warm sunlight, and that film simulation recipe should match those conditions real well. So the camera I chose to use today is the Fujifilm X-T30 and I attached a Fujinon 35mm f2 lens to it. It's a really good camera for just walking around and taking pictures. It's light, it's small, doesn't get in the way. The 35mm focal length is a standard nifty 50 focal length and just perfect for just everyday shooting. The f2 aperture is plenty fast enough for anything I encounter. Just a, a really good lens for this type of photography. right now people going to and from class but it is completely empty and there's almost nobody here mostly just pigeons <laughs> Thank you. 
this video. Please like it, share it, subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any new videos when they come out. For more information on the film simulation recipe that I used and other film simulation recipes, there's a link in the description. Just follow it, it'll take you right to FujiXWeekly.com.